Pisces, welcome back. Welcome to Majestic Notion. Welcome to your February reading, the Lover's Month. So these are general, of course, Pisces. Not every Pisces will be going through this. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your likes, shares, your subscriptions, all your wonderful and beautiful comments. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. And to those who have donated to the channel as well, thank you so much. Pisces, you are here, so please push that like button, subscribe to the channel, share, 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 and hit that notification bell for those of you who would like to know when these readings, monthly readings, pop up for you. And let's just jump right in. We're going to use Amira's Love Oracle. And these are love readings, but, you know, there might be a little more spice in the mix, meaning there might be some other things going on. So, you know how life goes. You got to take the good with the bad. But let's see. Hopefully it's all good. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get a crystal clear reading for Pisces spirit. What's going on for the month of February for Pisces? In love. Alright. Ah, it's a twin flame situation. So the lovers indeed. Okay, Pisces. Twin flame action. Bottom of the deck. We have a past love with fun times. We have a Burnett here with friendship. Okay. So this might be someone from your past. It's time to have some fun. Burnett. Or you're just going to have some fun with some friends, some people from the past. Want to see you. Yeah, we have dating queen. So you might have some friends that are interested in something more. Okay, they want to have a good time with you. They want to see you. They want to date you. Okay, dating queen with friendship. I think, okay, you're cool for like a night of fun, but nothing else. Okay, they find you very attractive here with beauty queen and dating queen. All right, so let's see here. What is going on here? All right, let's get into the romance angels and get you a couple cards here to elaborate a little more on your situation Pisces let's see is it your season Pisces I believe so is it not yet not yet right I think it's, we're still in Aquarius. I forgot to wish them a happy birthday. All right. Let's see here. But it will be later on, so happy birthday to you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to me. All right, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek, and with twin flames, darling. Okay, we've already met. We've crossed each other's path somehow. We've stared into those eyes or looked at this person's picture online. We did something. Our energies coincided through the 5D, the dream state, somehow, some way. You already know. They know, you know. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, somebody's ready to have some fun with you. Get to know you on a deeper level. Explore this beautiful connection. Alright. Let your friends help you. Yeah, ask for and accept support from others. And healing family issues. Oh. Ooh. This could lead to an engagement for some of you. Maybe it's been a long time coming. Okay, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This is definitely the highest level of commitment. Um, when two people are doing the work, healing. So somebody's in a healing process. Trying to get some advice from friends, maybe from spirit as well. This could be you, Pisces. And somebody wants to flirt with you. They want to have fun. They want to be playful. They want to enjoy this connection. Okay. Yeah. You know. 
you guys have been separated for too long. This could be, you know, you came together and separated for some of you because, you know, you already met the romantic partner you seek or there's been a separation here before the actual meeting for some time. And somebody definitely has romantic feelings towards you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This could be definitely what you feel as well. You're both feeling this. I mean, look at them. And this is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Beautiful. I like what I say. I like it. So let's get into my, or not mine, but the erotic fantasy tarot here. Let's see what else we got. I like it. Somebody's ready for some lighthearted energy and have some fun. Um, and I feel after the healing, um, you know, obviously we don't heal 100%, but after enough healing takes place to where they can trust moving forward and heal anything residual um, from the past that might hinder or create some type of trauma bond here so that you guys are not doing the whole runner chaser deal anymore. So that's good. Whether that's you or them healing at this time. All right, let's see here. All right. Yeah, it's taken some time. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody has analyzed it. They see it for what it is. And they're coming slowly but surely. But it's because of the healing process. Okay, it's a journey at the end of the day. Okay, it's not a destination. It's a journey. You both have a journey on your own. And when you come together and you both have your own spiritual experiences, you know, spiritual growth, but you also have a, a huge, you know, not just connection, but something significant when you come together and you guys will figure this out along the way. Um, but it is a journey and that's when it comes to Twin Flames and the Knight of Pentacles, it makes perfect sense. Okay. It's it's never a rush because there's so much spiritual growth that has to take place all along the way. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody's they don't want to look back anymore. Okay. They want to have fun. They want to play. They want to get out of that energy. King of Wands, Leo, Aquarius, I mean, why did I say Aquarius? You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I just did Aquarius, so that could be why. But it could be um, Aries or um, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's um, going after what they want. That's what the King of Wands does, very assertive, an ambitious person. They're supposed to be a leader, yes, absolutely. So... Someone's ready to lead um, and take the proper steps here into their purpose as well. Two of Pentacles. I'm hearing the tide is high. The tide is high and I'm holding on. I want to be your number one, number one, number one. Yeah, okay. Haven't heard that in, that's an old school song. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person is, um, has been through it. Or you, Pisces. Nine of Wands with the Five of Cups. This person is definitely ready for something lighthearted. Okay? They've had it rough. Or you. You're ready to move forward here. Um, well, let's see. Let's see. The Magician. Yep. Yeah. Big time manifestation mode. King of Wands with the Magician. Definitely heavy... Uh, Sagittarius here, but also the Magician is Scorpio for me as well, um, but with the King of Wands could be Sagittarius, doesn't have to be though, 
somebody's getting ready to manifest what they want okay so that's either you or them either way two people that want to come together here six of cups <laughs> I feel there's this little snake still having a hold on you but two of pentacles with the snake eating itself um, whether it's a snake or a dragon it speaks of cycles and eternity here so six of cups past life with eternity and wish fulfillment nine of cups manifestation so somebody's manifesting you right now they're th they are they're getting ready to do this after a long long time but there's a little bit of healing that they're going through right now king of pentacles um taurus virgo capricorn Mm -mm -mm. we got a situation that's what I'm thinking we got a situation seven of pentacles mm. yeah <laughs> seven of wands Oh, I'm so tired of seeing this past person for people. There's always people in the past that still wonder how you're doing and hang on. But it's like, oh my God. You are blocking out somebody in the past. Okay? They could have juggled you and someone else. You saw them as maybe perhaps you thought that was your twin. Wish fulfillment. Um, I don't think that's really what it is. I think that you just, you're going to have wish fulfillment here. And you're blocking out somebody's energy from the past. Um, and I feel that's the person you haven't seen in a while. For some of you, yes, you could you could have blocked your twin flame because they were in another situation. Okay. So let's see here. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Um, this person, Nine of Wands, they're guarding themselves more uh, because I feel like this King of Pentacles was, they were confused about somebody here. And yes, they do fantasize, but I feel like whatever they were confused about led to some kind of pain here. Um, this person could have went through something in the past with someone that caused a lot of confusion and they're kind of guarded but they want to let that guard down and be more playful okay they could be looking for something a little more lighthearted right now maybe they're exploring their options I don't know but I see somebody determined to come to you so that's why I'm like for some of you we'll see let's see there could be you know a couple situations yeah there was something that came to a halt with the death card in the seven of pentacles after some time here and yes it could have been a manifestation it could have felt like that was the one whether this was for you Pisces or the other person but it tumbled down Scorpio energy here and I said Scorpio for me here now for others of you this could be the same person but they left something behind that they thought could have been the one and now they're moving forward and they were there for a while okay five of swords yeah I feel you just blocked out some people from the past that um, maybe wanted to like challenge you in some way sending you the evil eye it feels like frenemies to me with the seven of wands and the six of cups I feel like people in your past uh, could have been kind of envious of you you know always throwing out there like little catty vibes or or things mumbling things under their breath or talking behind your back I feel like you block a lot of people that just don't relate to your energy right now 
because you must have gone through some changes, okay? So, yeah, I feel like they're a little bitter about it. They could have been naysayers and stuff like that in your ear. If not, it's in your twin flame's ear. So let's see here. Yeah, the strength card, Leo energy, holding back. This person is holding back because they're trying to sort through some type of confusion that led to some type of pain here with the Five of Cups. Let's see what else? Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody definitely thought, I feel like this King of Wands thought that this Two of Cups was the one, and it wasn't. That's why, and they spent a lot of time there trying to, it was a manifestation, but I feel like it was more of a lesson for them. And um, it just, Death Card, it, it was a lesson to me with the Seven of Pentacles and the Death Card. There's a transformation going on here. And ha has been for some time. And uh, it's a, it's like a cycle in their life they had to go through. That's what I'm seeing. King of Cups. Yeah, you could have somebody in your past that you had to like cut ties with and create boundaries with. I feel like this person did have feelings for you, but they were more emotionally manipulative. King of Cups here with the Five of Swords. Now, for others of you, it's this Divine Masculine establishing boundaries here with other people. About you, about this connection. And if, if they're cutting off someone significant in their life that they were with, you know, it's this person that they're blocking. Okay? Eight of Cups. Yeah, they're walking away from options. And whatever hurt them. They want lighthearted energy. So eight of cups with the seven of cups. Yeah, this person is protecting their energy and walking away from anything that causes any confusion here. Or illusion. That's what I'm seeing. And they're nine of wands protecting themselves. Because they have a little bit they're full of regrets about the choices that they've made. Okay? It could have stemmed from their ego with the strength card here. Somebody here could definitely have um, heavy Leo in their chart. Or Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy. Bottom of the deck here, we have the lovers. Yeah. With the Ace of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. This is a divine contract here. Three of Pentacles is also a contract. Yeah, Judgment with justice wow balancing the scales six of pentacles oh look at that energy oh man yeah you got justice here on your side so there will be a, a um, communication with someone here for some of you, there will be someone coming back around from the past to talk to you. Um, with the lovers here and the Three of Pentacles, that definitely could have been a lesson here. Or that's what they're going through, the Divine Masculine. But you have Justice with the Six of Pentacles. That's Balance right here. Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, High Priestess, that's you, with the Empress. Do you see that's the stable ass energy? You're gonna have plenty to give. <laughs> okay? If you do like spiritual work, you're gonna be making really good money and standing pretty strong and confident in what you do. The Empress with the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Trust. Because you're you're getting so much justice. For whatever transpired yeah look at that ten of swords for that 
whatever that was, Ten of Swords, to you. Damn, and Sleepless Nights. Yeah, it's coming. Okay, Three of Wands. Your ships are coming. Um, you do have a few offers, though. You do. All right. Let's get a few of these from the scoop deck. All right, tell me more for Pisces here. Yeah, you could have walked away from a King of Cups. That could be someone wanting to come back around, but this person is emotionally manipulative. You already know how this person is because you have them on block. Seven of Wands. However, on block could be energetically or on social media or on your phone. We have stubborn. Someone is very stuck in their ways. Yeah. <sighs> For some of you guys, if this is the past person, this King of Wands with the death card here. Um, they, they could be doing some shady stuff, but let's see. Let's see. Yeah, cleanse your energy and your space. Yeah, you wanted to clean yourself of this person's energy. Okay. What do we have? Evil eye for this person? What, what, yeah, with that five of swords there. Obsession. Someone is obsessed with you. Yeah, whoever uh, your twin flame was dealing with, they had to walk away from someone. That was creating a lot of Heart, heartache and confusion here. So they're guarding their heart against this person. This person was obsessed. Yeah, desire. Someone is desiring you. What I'm getting from stubborn and desires is somebody is still fixated on you. Sexual fantasies. Someone has been having sexual fantasies about you. Yeah. Yeah. This is weird because um, now Pisces, because there's so much energy here, this could very well be the divine masculine blocking out this obsessive person and trying to cleanse their energy from them. Okay, being a little more assertive, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. And they're having fantasies about you while they heal and cleanse their energy. Yeah, we have blackmail with obsession. Yeah, they're dealing with the psycho. I mean, there's no other way to put it. So, they're dealing with a psycho. Whoever the male is here is dealing with a psycho. The divine masculine male energy, though. And I say masculine because we do have the king of pentacles, king of wands here. Um... Whether you're male or female, that's up to you because it's not about gender, it's the energy. But I am feeling like somebody's dealing with a crazy female. And it's your divine masculine. So we have manifest again with the magician. Somebody wants to manifest whatever desire this is, they're stubborn. They don't want this to be over. So I'm getting a few things for the divine feminine. There's somebody here that does not want it to be over. They're desiring you and they want to manifest you back into their life. Because they're still stuck in their head about you could be the one. You're like the one that got away. Okay. Others of you, again, <laughs> the masculine here. They're dealing with someone that's stubborn. And keeps wanting to pop back into their life. They're obsessed. Phases. This phase will end soon. 
it was a cycle, two of pentacles with phases. Um, for those of you who dealt with a manipulative person in the past, or are dealing with that, whether you're divine masculine or divine feminine. Yeah, I knew somebody was doing something. Black magic. Someone has been using dark magic with obsession and blackmail. Damn, man. <laughs> Somebody is just nuts over here. Somebody could have gotten pregnant also. I see somebody pregnant here. But I feel like that was a lie with because Eight of Cups, there's no water there. There's no no water retention there, that's for sure. Bottom of the deck, skeleton secrets are about to be revealed. Yeah. I told you somebody was cuckoo. Therapist, someone needs to visit a therapist. And caution, proceed with caution. That's kind of scary. So I don't know if you're dealing with this, Pisces, or it's your divine masculine. They're guarding and protecting their heart once again. Somebody's an emotional wreck here. And they're doing things in a really bad way. Okay, we have growth. You will grow from this situation. A new line of study. Stuck in the past. Yeah, there's something about the past here. And new view with guidance. <sighs> Let's see what's going on outside of this situation, Pisces. There's so there's been so much energy lately. Like I am so drained right now. Between you and Aquarius. Um, Capricorn, yes, a little bit, but Aquarius, oh my god. And then your energy. It, it's sucking like so much energy out of me because there's so much energy there's exes and, and past people and the masculine and feminine and, and you know karmics and I'm like just like overwhelmed like ugh. but let's let's push through let's plow through this yeah there's definitely a new person coming it doesn't have to be an earth sign, but it could be a Taurus. Because um, we have earth and part of the thick sign is Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Leo. Okay, and we have Leo here as well. So, let's see here. That's the new beginning and the closeout of a major cycle. Okay, successfully closing out a major cycle. But is somebody committed, wanting commitment, somebody grounded, solid, you know. Good husband material, for sure. Yeah, somebody definitely walked away from this cuckoo crazy person. So either you or this person. Eight of Cups with the Death card. It's time for a transformation. Alright, let's get one more what's outside of the situation spirit what else is happening here what can we expect here yeah wheel of fortune change most definitely change movement forward here uh destiny's playing a wheel here they got their hand on this Ooh, with the magician two major arcana yeah we're manifesting change I'm gonna make a change for once in my life. It's gonna feel real good. It's gonna make a difference. Gonna make it right. Da, 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 da. Look at that. Somebody said, I'm ready, universe. I'm ready. As above, so below, as within. So without, look at that lineup. Somebody's ready. I'm telling you, somebody's got, um, they don't have their blinders on. They see clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Ten of swords. They're done with that. Done. Yeah, lies and deception. Damn. Major betrayal here lesson not talking 
Yep. It was a cycle. Blocking. But this person's going mad right now. They're an emotional wreck right now. Yep. I can't make it up. Five of Cups again. But they did it. They betrayed this person. And they they are an emotional mess. Five of Swords. Obsession. Jealous. Talking shit. Doing really devious shit. Manipulation. Seven of Swords. Five of Swords. Ten of Swords. Damn. Uh-huh. I feel Pisces. That's your energy here as well. Um, yeah. Somebody's enlightened. Yes. We graduated, we graduated emperor status, looking at things from a new view, a higher perspective. There he is, divine masculine. Never gonna be the same again. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never get it. <laughs> yeah, they're in anxiety because this person slept around. Damn, what is, that, what is up with all these people cheating? The fuck? They stay by themselves. Yeah. Oh yeah, they were messing with a third party. Knight of Wands. Wondering where did I go wrong? Queen of Wands. Mm hmm. Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. Somebody slept with somebody. Could have been a Leo. Oh, is that what happened here? Hmm. Ah, King of Wands. So this was the competition. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Somebody's healing their heart space before they extend this offer to you. Four of Swords, Ace of Cups. They're becoming that divine masculine, that emperor. They admire your wisdom. Okay. There's the Empress. Queen of Swords. They admire that you speak your truth. Okay. I feel like the muse to this person. Um, you bring clarity and truth. And, you know, you're blunt. Okay. And they see that. Seven of Cups with the Tower. Yeah. No more confusion. Epiphany has been had here. Truth has been revealed and this person's ready to move up, move on. The fool. Nine of Wands, they went through the mill. Nine of Wands over here as well. And, uh, yeah. They can see your compassionate Pisces, Queen of Cups, and giving. And they want to trust you. Okay. So they want to, I feel like they want to come in to have a conversation with you. Yeah. To, somebody's trying to get in between this though. It's that person that they were, um, not, you know, the person they were dealing with. That Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands energy. Mm -mm. You guys are meant to be twin flames. Okay, so it doesn't matter. That was a lesson, clearly. Clear as day. There was so much betrayal there. So much. Wow. Okay, let's get you a card since we know it's Twin Flame. The one. Let's see here. So, Pisces, if you're the Divine Feminine and you know you weren't sleeping around betraying this Divine Masculine, this is a karmic energy that did this to the Divine Masculine, okay? I love your inner strength and confidence, and you wouldn't be showing up as the Divine Feminine here if you did all this. You'd be showing up just like that Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. So that tells me it's karmic because you showed up as the Empress. 
So what else here? And they love your strength and inner confidence. This person definitely is a protective kind of person also. They don't want competition. Okay. I am romantic. I love to do the little things that make you smile. Aw. Well, that's good. One more for Pisces. Yep, connected souls, eternal love, twin flames. Bottom of the deck, you will be a very admired couple. See, that's how I know that's not you um, sleeping around. That was a karmic situation. No matter what hap has happened along the way, I know I love you. And one more, let's travel together. So they want to travel with you. They want to spend that time, be playful. And just joyous, you know, just because this this person they were dealing with, they betrayed them, slept with somebody else, and they got the balls to try to blackmail and do black magic and be all obsessed. And you saw that person needs some therapy. So let's see what else. Just get you a few more cards here. Yeah. Receiving what you need. Progression arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. Yeah, they're moving on and they definitely have closure issues. Because that person was crazy. And they're manifesting you. They're serious about manifesting you. Yeah, they were in a codependent relationship. You know, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. That's what got them in trouble. You know, it happens. And each time takes time and time cycles, time to heal progress and they are in a healing mode here so very well very well now Pisces I did um, write some like cue cards here with some um, like stick figure drawings and you know nothing professional just to have a little fun so let's see what else comes up here for me Pisces yeah be grateful for the blessings to come Anxiety. I want to. I want to talk to you. I just don't know what to say. And we did get that nine of swords energy. Proving their love with action. They're really serious about it. Okay. They just need a little time to go through that healing. Because they got betrayed. So betrayed. I watch you often. Yeah, that person was in it for the money. Damn. These hoes ain't loyal. And, yep. Ready to commit to the things that are within their heart. And I see that there. Strong energy with the Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, and the Two of Cups. And genuine and one of a kind. Divine Feminine. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I have wanted you for a long time. Divine Feminine. All right, Pisces, I think that's what I got for you. Okay. Sounds like a union is coming after some healing time. Okay. This could be uh, three months from now, three weeks from now. Okay. Um. 
it's gonna be 13 in 13 days I don't know you know everybody heals different this was pretty heavy this was pretty rough so it might take them like three months but um, you might hear from this person you know communication might start coming in this month so it's gonna be different for all of you they know what they want so now you're gonna see this person putting some effort here and wanting to reach out I wanna know what this person was doing here oh I don't even know it. let me see if I have that deck here out let's see Hold on, guys. I'm trying to get the uh, the proper deck. Okay. Not that it matters. It's not going to work. You guys are divinely protected. But let's see. What is this obsessive karmic doing? Because they are not getting their way anymore. I can tell you that much. Somebody is done, the done, done. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Okay, we have sea salt powder, power. Use the cleansing and restorative powers of sea salt to remove negative energies from your body and home. So use the powers of sea salt. Okay. Whoa. And that's funny, they all three came out, and it was three cards that came out. Oh no, four cards. Okay, so we have... Oh, this person must... Yeah, I was going to say... With obsession? This person is obsessed with this. That's why this all came out. Look at this. So we have spying. Someone is using divination tools to pry into your personal life for their advantage. So that person that they were with could have been doing, um, getting uh, tarot readings. That's why they're jealous. They know about this. And we have vibe clearing. You need to incorporate a regular habit of using protection herbs, sage, palo santo, etc. to cleanse and clear negative energy from your surroundings on a weekly basis. Okay. Especially if you divinate for some of you. And submission magic. Someone wants to, you to submit to them to allow them to have their way with you. That is this person with the divine masculine. <laughs> And then we have reckless magic. Someone is out of control and doing anything in ev to any and everyone they want without having remorse. So it doesn't matter. All that energy is going to backfire on them. Obviously it did. It blew up in their face even though they completely betrayed this divine masculine. We have public eye. You're being watched by multiple people who don't have your best interests at heart. That's that Five of Swords energy. Yeah, jealousy. Someone is jealous of you or who of who you are and the accomplishments you've made with candle magic. Jeez. This person is out of control for sure out of control this karmic my goodness so get you some of that sea salt um, place it in the uh, corners of your house especially the entrance I would do that in a jar even just a bowl of salt dead sea salt preferably um, but you can use Epsom salt or sea salt. Use sea salt. Sea salt or dead sea salt. Um, put it by the front door. 
back door if you have one. Shit, sometimes I, I take salt and I sprinkle the whole yard with it. You know. And I treat the whole yard with it. Um, yeah, but if you can go to the beach, soak for a few hours, a couple hours. You know, I know not everybody has access to the beach readily available. So purification baths, of course. And definitely, if you divinate at all and you deal with energy, just make sure you're always cleansing your space on a... I don't do it daily, but I pretty much like every other day, I try to like open the windows, let some air circulate, um, and I, you know, turn on some music to cleanse the house. You could find that type of music here on YouTube. And I do Palo Santo or Sage or both sometimes. And I burn incense on top of that. So, you know, just look look it up here on YouTube or do some research on how to cleanse negative energy from your home or, you know, block the evil eye, stuff like that. I mean, your twin flames, you're protected, but it's always good to ward off that energy, return it to sender, you know, it's always good to say some kind of prayer that works for you, okay? All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you guys. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates, and um, I wish you guys the best. All right, bye-bye.